Uh, hi. Um, the pictures. Um, And this with the video stuff, it's rather easy to do, I say, as a technical nerd. Uh, and, and it's so excellent. Um, I did some, I understand afterwards, hardcore genealogy. I'm from Sweden, my mother is from Sweden, but her biological father is from Serbia. He was some engineering and he came to Sweden and my mother grew up with other parents and um, they didn't have so much contact and then, then I started doing genealogy I went on to Serbia couldn't read they have another um, uh, if you look at the uh, birth set here you don't understand the word it's so crazy uh, so uh, the red one is how I put there so what I did when I am um, got help from a person in a small, small village in, in um, Kosorevak was that I took my phone and recorded a video. So this is a video when they are reading, translating it for me. So, so here it says Monchilo, and then the, 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 and is the father, yes. <laughs> and so, so, so they don't have a uh, scanned and, uh, church book, so this is the only one, so it's so cool. <laughs> uh, so using a video is excellent, and I think I have another video. Is that I got by luck. Or I don't. If I, it's a private. Ah, private movie. So this is a movie I got from a. Uh, this is a crazy story. It's it's a movie from the museum of. Uh, it's no sound. It's a museum of uh, Novi Sad. Uh, I got it from a person writing a book about her. Uh, her the wife's mother. So this, I think, my uh, biological, my mother's biological father. That's him. I met him once, but I have no memory of him. Uh, so I've seen him much more on video, I think, than I have in real life. But it's a cool way to do it. Uh, regarding your Lutger, what I see is I just see this and then you don't have. So you have yellow protection now. Private with public. So you, you have it private. If you change to public, I think it will change. So you need to do it public. Or open, maybe you can do it open also. Uh, because what, what happened is that I just see the small ones and I can, I don't see the change, but I can check your uh, contributions. And then I see that you have uploaded. And when I click on it, it's like that. I think the best way for you to see what other see, people see is if you're running some browser and you have incognito mo win mode that means that you will run as not logged in um, doing uh, links is uh, not so magic 
it's not so easy either. Um, we have a rather, so this is a profile I have done for uh, some American people in, in who has roots in Sweden. And maybe I have something here. We, I think we have the estate and inventory. After his wife. There we have. So if I should add the wife. Then I have. Uh, this. Uh, square bracket. I think it's called. And then I copy the link. And. Then it's the unique last part, and it's a type character and this one, and then this wife will be clickable. So if we do preview, then you see at the bottom here, then it's a link. Uh, this is a link to a map I have done. So th this is the solution I have done. Um, I don't say it's the best uh, and not everyone agree on it. We are we are adding information in categories about the parishes. So if you click on ASPI here then you get good research links to find a map so you understand. And this is a map that I hope here we have Aspid. This is for doing genealogy in Sweden. You need to understand this area called Parish. It's not used anymore, but more than for genealogy people. So that's excellent. And uh, here you can also read, sadly, just in Swedish about the parish. Uh, you have. Um, so you can, if you would like to learn more about it, you have also a map of uh, people, but this was not a good map, they're normally much better. And you also have where you can discuss about uh, this parish and you have here people who have uploaded pictures with people from this parish. So if you are really, really lucky, I should maybe just do it so. Then you... Are not lucky. All spelling combinations. No, but I was lucky once. I uh, was uh, helping a person who from Canada, and he came from Sweden. He, his fam family had the roots in Sweden, and then I found a picture. Check the author of the picture, the one one has uploaded, and then it was um, uh, an author of a book about the family tree, so it was crazy good. Uh, but what you do, I think, is that you go to the privacy tab and go to my profile. And if you click on the privacy maybe this is the lane that that's the problem see the fall for non living people under 200 year so do you have a death date on your profile that's the question I don't know. Check if you can change the privacy, is my advice. Good 
luck. But the, I think it's excellent, this profile. I, and uh, you... More stories. And, and uh, with, with, with this, uh, the panic, it's the same with, as I have with my uh, mother's biological father. Uh, we have one or two letters from him. And uh, one of them says, and during the war it was tough, you know. And I would have been so happy if he, had, he could explain what happened during the war. In Sweden we didn't have any war. And what happened on there, I think it, life was really tough. Uh, I read some stories. And it's a total other life than we have in Sweden. So, context, context, context. It's a, if you look at um, G2G, they announced a new new training at something called Future Learn about genealogy and it was excellent to get uh, here free in online in July uh, it's for free and it's five weeks it's not so difficult but it's excellent so you, you do uh, some uh, trainings answer some questions and uh, for me it was excellent it's about how telling a story and, and what you can look in more places and so on so I recommend it. Good.